Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to enable high dynamic range in Gears 5. Now, the reason I'm making this is because I've seen a lot of comments in my comment sections of my Gears 5 videos asking how do you enable HDR. Now, I thought this would have been fairly simple and needed no explanation, but a few of you guys are having issues. So I just wanted to demonstrate how I enable Gears 5 to have HDR. So um, this is me showing you what the options menu will look like when you have a standard dynamic range um, selected. So my HDR is disabled at the moment and this is what you'll be presented with if HDR is not enabled. So I'm just loading Gears 5 now. Um, so this is the Coalition logo. There's nothing you can do about it. I can't skip it unfortunately so just bear with me guys. Um, Gears 5 though, what a game so far. I haven't beat it yet, but definitely enjoying the experience so far. Anyone that's into the Gears uh, franchise, this is certainly one you cannot miss. So um, let's get into how to enable HDR. It really does make the difference in this game. This is certainly a game that's worth um, having a HDR screen for. Easily one of the best HDR experiences I've had since owning the HDR screen. So you just jump into the menu, go to the options, then you go to video settings. So playing at 30, 40 by 21, 60, no frame rate cap, no real reason for me to go through all my options. But the main thing is above the brightness calibration, you should have HDR on or off if you've enabled HDR correctly. As you can see, there is no HDR option in sight if you do not have a HDR screen so there you go guys you have to have an HDR screen to even have that option so I'm just gonna quit out the game now and I'll show you how to enable HDR so providing you have a HDR screen all you need to do is click display settings and toggle on HDR for games and apps it's also worth going into the actual setting itself so by clicking Windows HD color settings and making sure you've got stream HDR video enabled as well. This has no bearing on the game, but if you wanna watch YouTube videos with HDR and also HDR content on your PC uh, in general, it's good to have this uh, selected as well. There's a little SDR content appearance slider which kind of gives a brightness slider. Sometimes when you enable HDR, your PC can get dull with uh, HDR um, standard dynamic range um, content. So it's kind of gives it a little bit more control as well. So anyway, let's jump back into Gears 5 and you'll see that HDR should now be available. So let's go through this long intro coalition logo again. Again, guys, I do apologize. There's nothing I can do about this. Um, it's just something they like to show off. and. It's definitely a game to be proud of, so they want everyone to know that we built this, so I appreciate that. I like the way, I like what Coalition's done with the game. Um, I love the horde mode of Gears 5 as well. Um, certainly a game got good multiplayer elements, not only just uh, story driven as well. So let's get into the options file once more. Wait for that to load up. Man, this is taking long. Okay, finally here. So, back into the options, back into video settings, and you will find this time, above brightness, you have HDR enable on or off. Of course, I'm gonna turn this on. Screen's gonna go black for a few seconds. And then you have HDR enabled. Now, it also allows you to have HDR calibration. So this is where you can kind of tweak your screen settings to best fit your screen specification. So generally you'll be at 1000. This is like depending on how much peak brightness nits you have on your screen. I've got a 1000 nit screen, but that's just a specification. It can go a little bit further than that. So I find myself between 1200 and 1400, depending on um, the game. I'll have it at 1200 for now. Brightness, I have it between 160 and 200. And contrast, I'll just leave at 50. But of course, adjust it to your own settings um, and your own liking. So that is pretty much how you enable 
um, HDR and it certainly makes a difference in this game and um, you won't regret it anyway guys that's pretty much it for me hopefully someone out there who was having issues has found this useful and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching